Oh wow! Figured. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no problem. Oh. It's a uh, right after the Kramer con uh, content. I was like, all right, fuck it, let's go live. So oh, basically, it well. starts off with uh, an awkward silence and uh, Drew's drinking, and we're all just watching him drink. Yeah, we, we could tell. That V8 is gone. Basically, yeah. it starts off. I needed a new jug, so I went and got one about an hour ago. Nice. What's everybody drinking tonight? Am I allowed to say if it's trademarked? Um, yeah, it's fine. We're not sponsored. I have Starbucks <laughs> yeah. Double Shot. Oh, okay. Uh, it tastes like bad coffee that's gone cold. Isn't it but, a little uh, late to be jamming caffeine into your veins? Oh, I have an office job. I only live on coffee. Right. I, gotcha. I, if, if, if you cut me open, I would bleed out like high-octane coffee. You could drink and be fine. I, I could drink a cup of coffee and go to bed. I'd be oh, fine. me too. I can do that too. Yeah. It's pretty legit. I could uh, drink a cup of coffee and go to bed in like three weeks. <laughs> I'm drinking water out of a uh, gigantic Slurpee <coughs> cup that uh, has the Destroyer on it from the original Thor movie. Um, if you remember the story about the first time that Derek ever got drunk, it was a cup this size. It's massive. And uh, yeah. it was a Halo cup, though, not a Thor cup. Yeah, that was the... Uh Vodka, rum, tequila, Coke, Pepsi, root beer, Sprite, cream soda, yeah, whiskey. Yeah, that was fun. Mm. <laughs> what are you drinking, uh, Zach? Uh, some Mountain Dew with some special stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> special stuff. The special sauce. <laughs> uh, from what you said before we started, at least you're sticking to a color theme. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Wormwood or no wormwood? Wormwood. Nice. So basically, you're going to turn into your 3.5 character. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> we can hope. <laughs> we can only hope. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, you want to get into it? Continue going? Well, I guess I should, I guess I should say welcome to Critical Fail Episode 2. <laughs> we Woo. went through all... I'll have to cut that for the VOD. But, uh, you know, we'll do it, do it all good-like. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Critical Fail, Episode 2. Uh, the overlay is still not fixed, because the artist was busy, I guess. Anyway, it'll get fixed, but we're well, going to Critical Fail. Happen. So it says roll for it for ni right now, but it's Critical Fail. Don't be, uh, don't be misled. Uh, once again, as always, we are led by our DM, Derek. Hey. That's him. He's in the middle, up top, right up there. And we've got Zach with us. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Man, a few words. And Drew, over on the other side. I guess. I'm here for another night. <laughs> no, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just chilling as normal, so. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. You guys want to play some D&D? Fuck yeah! I wish my uh, webcam okay. would stop adjusting. So, though. we left off in the forest. Uh, you guys had just apprehended Vigo Wall Eyes and tied him up. Decidedly, you had tied him up and had hoisted him bleeding all over Ozzy Armas. Uh, and you were going to. You had mentioned going back to retrieve the deer that you had hoisted up into a tree. So we'll pick it up from there with uh, Ozzy Armas. Alright, I'm off to find my elk. <laughs> okay, you can just trudge through the forest with that man slung over your shoulders. No, uh, and, and you guys are following? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, you come upon the tree where you were in the clearing. Uh, you still have the man slung over the top of your shoulders, and the elk is still there. Strung up in the tree. All right. So who, uh, who wants to carry the man? Because I'm taking my elk. I can't. I guess I will. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're gonna pass him over to Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you pass over the human being like a piece of meat for money, uh, and Jordan, you are now considered encumbered. 
uh, having a man slung over top of your shoulders. Uh, Ozzy, uh, how are you taking the deer down? Or uh, elk? Gonna cut it down. Cut it down? Yeah. Okay. Just whoosh, cut it down? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, give me a reflex save. <laughs> oh, great. There's reflex. We don't um, have those anymore. Sorry, yeah, no, it's uh, dexterity save. saving throw. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There. Huh. Well, look at that. Twenty be enough? Twenty? <laughs> Not twenty? Uh, yeah. No, I had one. Oh. I had one oh. to it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, can can yeah, we go by your fine. second roll? Because that would have been a critical <laughs> fail. I don't need uh, to be attacked by a dead elk, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you gracefully sidestepped the elk uh, as it came careening down because you just cut the rope. So uh, your 50-foot piece of hempen rope is now decidedly 45 feet and uh, attached to uh, the tree. <laughs> so, right. uh, well done. yeah, you got a, a rope attached to an elk on the ground. Well, so you can pick like it up or tow it. Yeah, I'll, I'll drag it. <laughs> okay. It's not gonna hurt. Um, literally the thing that you're dragging. <laughs> <laughs> so are you leading the way? Yeah, yeah, I'll take, I'll take over. And I assume Ergo Huto is just obstinate about this whole uh, animal dragging thing and just trying not to make eye contact with it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I'm just. Jeff and I are just chilling and waiting for this experience to be over. <laughs> okay. Uh, get you, paid. Yeah. Pretty you, much. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Ozzy leads the way and through the forest remains unencumbered or is encumbered by the elk, uh, but nothing comes upon you guys. So you come back to the logging camp. Uh, so the logging building is to your left and the hunter's lodge is to your right. The guy on Joradam is still very much unconscious. Uh, Ozzy? Alright, let me do the talking. Gonna go get our bounty. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the Hunter's Lodge. And are you gonna knock? Or are you just gonna stand at the door and wait for him? No, I'm gonna <laughs> knock. <laughs> <laughs> just psychically will yourself. Um, you can knock. The same right. guy opens the door before and doesn't get the opportunity to ask what you're selling because he recognizes you and says, Hey, you're back! How was the hunt? We got a little more than we bargained for. I think got the our bounty... Guy. Oh yeah, he's right over there. Excellent. Excellent. Actually, uh, me and the guys were talking about that. Uh, see, because the sheriff's office wants you to take him all the way into the city and then, you know due process and uh, I mean you'll get your 200 pieces because he's he's alive right 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 uh, yeah due process <laughs> they're gonna ship him over to the quarry and it's just one more guy in the quarry I mean it doesn't really make that big of a difference right just one more guy yeah no see cuz we'll pay you 150 gold to leave him here with us Nope. And, uh, no. Nope. But, it, it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about 150 gold and, uh, improved bow and arrow? Or improved crossbow? Yeah, you just what gotta leave to that? Here. You just gotta leave him here and then tell the sheriff no, you couldn't I find No, I told them that already. No, we can't. <laughs> We gotta do things right. by the book, sorry. Um, I also see that you're sporting a uh, elk <laughs> there. <laughs> I had no part of this. <clears throat> it was a good hunt. Is that for sale? Absolutely. What are you okay. offering for it? 20 gold? You know what? I like the way you think. I'll take 20 gold. Okay. Uh, he snaps his fingers, and one guy that kind of shimmies out wearing flannel and he's coming over to the elk and he's <clears throat> untying the rope from it and dragging it away uh, and he says well that was good 
uh, be sure to uh, bring by anything else that you catch in the forest. Um, we pay for all animals. He looks very intently at Ergo Hito. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you sure we can't change your mind about leaving Vigo Walleyes here? Wish you I could, but. I foul the law. No. Uh, Gotta do things good. lawfully. Okay, bye. And he closes the door in your face. What a prick. Right? <laughs> Who just <laughs> who just takes animals like that? Like, ugh. The guy dragging the elk away gives you a meaningful look. Like, I just do this for a living. <laughs> <sighs> you have to respect the animals, man. He's he's literally hauling on the antlers to get it behind <laughs> the building. <laughs> <sighs> Some people. All right, uh, okay. let's uh, let's go collect our bounty. Let's head into town. Okay, uh, you guys just heading up. No yep. weather stops. Okay, uh, you fast travel along the road, past the farms, past the intersection, hang a left through the main gates, up halfway through the city, and to the sheriff's office. And the sheriff greets you. Welcome back, gentlemen. Successful hunt, I see, because Absolutely. he can see that Joradam is still slung over top. Or uh. He still has the the guy, the guy you know. Yep. Um, <laughs> and he says, "Is he alive?" Yep. As far he's as bleeding all over our floor. He, he might need some medical attention, but he's alive. And he's not poisoned. Nope. All right. Put him up here on the counter. Didn't exactly come willingly. That's fine. We'll pay you for your troubles, and he gets a little bag out and he starts counting out gold pieces one by one. Oh now, god. About Five, that. Six, how much is uh, seven, half a dozen goblins worth to you? Goblins? You got goblins? We rid your we rid your fair city of some goblin menace. Really? Well, see, we're a bureaucracy here. 11, 12. So, uh, I mean, we require proof of kill. So, if you bring the goblins' heads here, I can pay you 50 gold, or I'll say 10 gold piece a head for any goblin that you bring to us. I wish we would have known that before we went out hunting. Well, I mean, the goblins aren't probably going to go away, so anytime you come across goblins, I'll pay you for buying Future reference, head. yeah. Yeah. All right. But you need the head. Because you can fake an ear. Sometimes people try to give you a left ear and a right ear, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, a head. Preferably, uh... Preferably. Um, since you guys are in town... 14, 15, 16... Um, we are having a problem with the water supply in town. Uh, see, we got the great big aqueduct that pumps it into the town. But then it goes through this series of pipes and stuff. It's all really complicated because, you know, you don't want to mix the sewer with the aqueduct, you know. But uh, water stops coming out of the pipes. And uh, all of our rat catchers are gone. So uh, I was wondering if you could go see if uh, there's been any problem with that. I'll pay you 50 just for information about where the rat catchers went. And uh, 500 if you can get the pipes all cleared up. Hmm. Now 500 gold. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gold. Mm. 17, 18, 19. 21, <laughs> 22. I'll have to confer with my companions. Yeah, yeah, take all the time you need. 28, 29, 30. So, where's your local medical person, doctor, clinic? Well, depends on what you. Oh, I think I lost count. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It depends on where your local, uh, what, what your needs are. Uh, we've got a fully trained doctor. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, there's an herbalist. There's Magic Mystic Mystic Molly. Magic Molly. I think it's Mystic Molly. Yeah, she's into all that natural healing stuff. And then there's uh, Doctor Sedaris, who's just up the road from here. All right. He can fix it. Alright, 
Uh, I'm gonna turn and leave and head towards the doctor, and I'll let my companions collect the money. 35. Okay, are you guys just sticking around? <laughs> I like your commitment. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I don't want to let my money out of my sight. Okay, uh, you're gonna sit there while he counts out each individual coin. <laughs> yep. Uh, so... Ergo, you can uh, tell what up the road means because the path switchbacks up uh, the side of the hill. So uh, up the road is to your left, and down the street you see uh, what is generally regarded in common as the medical symbol on the side of a building. So you figure that's your best bet. All right, I'll head there. <clears throat> okay, uh, you go inside, and a severe-looking old man is standing over top of a slab, and he's poking at a dead person. And he's just kind of like working on him. Hey there. Are you Dr... I forgot your name. Fuck. Sedaris. Sedaris. Yes. Dr. Sedaris? Yeah. Can you yeah, fix this? On the outside of the building? Sorry. I kind of rushed here. I didn't look at, you know, what the name said and anything. Can you fix this? What? Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's broken. Fix There's that. some nerve damage. What did you do? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, shit, hold on. <laughs> I actually forgot. Fuck, someone remind me. <laughs> Are you under some impairment effects currently, right now? Uh, no. Uh, I think I tripped or something. I can't remember the specific- I rolled a one! That's what happened! <laughs> <laughs> he bitches about his arm! I can't remember what happened! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can roll to try to remember, or you can just go with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me roll to remember. <laughs> Let's okay. Ah, uh, it's a nine. Yeah, you have uh, the fuzzy recollection of being super distressed about an elk being shot. And then somehow that is the reason that your arm got cut. And then something to do with a goblin fight, which is why your arm got broken. Your memory is quite hazy. Do, right. you, re do you just give that information to Dr. Sedaris? Yeah, I just say, yeah, must have tripped on a sword or something. Clumsiness. <laughs> well... I hope that's not how you make your living. Uh, let's see here. Not he generally, no. The, he shoves the cadaver off the table and he says, Come lie down. I'm gonna lie down. Okay. Uh, he says, You got 30 gold pieces? Uh, hey, yeah, about that. Uh, my companions are just collecting from the slow sheriff. And then they'll be right over. Uh huh. I can, we can wait here for them if you want. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the sheriff's office, <laughs> 78, <laughs> 79, God damn it. 80, 81, 82, back at the dentist. Back, <laughs> back at the dentist. Back at the dentist. Back at Dr. Sedaris's office. Uh, he's just looking at you like, no money? Really? Are you going to pull that on me? No, I literally just got back from... Uh, capturing this wanted guy for you guys, and we're waiting on the money from the sheriff. He counts slow. Okay, well, uh, what do you have on you as collateral in case your friends don't show up? I have my short sword, my long bow, some rations, some rope, arrows, tinderbox, pittens, hammer, crowbar, backpack, two extra short swords, leather armor, water skin. You know. Okay, cool. He just picks up your backpack and moves it off to the side behind him all right and then he's looking at you in the face to see if you get a reaction but you seem fine so he's like okay uh and then he's gonna grab your wrist and yank on it as hard as he can until your arm Ooh. goes straight yeah um ozzy and jor you hear uh ergo screaming from down the street <laughs> <laughs> sounds like everything's going well <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's putting it in a splint and wrapping it and uh, he puts his hands around it and he's muttering some kind of chant and your arm is glowing uh, meanwhile at the sheriff's office 
he's up to about 140, and he's still counting each individual coin out for you. Uh, uh, ergo, he says, okay, that's good. We're just going to wait for your friends now, and uh, don't take the splint off for the rest of the day. You can use the arm, but uh, I'd suggest a decent, nice worth of sleep. I did heal you, but it's a new bone material, and it still take about a day for your body to realize that it is belonging to your body. Uh, you can have complications if you try to exercise anywhere beyond normal tasks today. Okay. Uh, don't masturbate with it. I'm right-handed anyways. Excellent. Uh, okay. Jeff's Aussie not, Jordan. but nobody cares about Jeff. He just stares at you. No one even seems to notice, Jeff. <clears throat> um, Ozzy and Jor, he has all 200 and he's looking at them like he's like, can, maybe? Does that seem right to you guys? Nah, I Jor think you were 10 short. Roll diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> you mean deception? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 17? Oh, wow. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. And he takes 10 more coins. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. You're lucky I'm not there. <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, nine. I'm going to take a leak. Keep going. 10. <laughs> uh, good. And he piles them all in a sack. And then he hands you the sack. Thank you, good sir. Uh, remember what I said about the waterways, and uh, also what I said about the goblins. Uh, yeah, if you could help us out in any regard, uh, keep the town safe. And if you want any information about the aqueducts and all of that, uh, please come back. I assume you're staying in town somewhere? We have yet to find lodgings, but uh, that's a safe assumption. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are uh, two inns in town. Uh, you can't miss them. They say inn on the side. All right. Uh, yeah, have a nice day. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Ozzy and Jor, uh, where are you at? To, we're heading off to help our friend pay his bill. Cool. Okay, uh, you head up the street because you heard the sheriff give that direction. And you, I assume, just go all the way there? Yeah. Okay, you walk in to see uh, Ergo Huto all bound up on the table next to a cadaver on the floor and uh yeah there you go you're feeling much better hey guys i feel much better <laughs> uh we we owe we owe this guy 35 gold oh here's your share i hand him 70 sweet 70 this isn't three ways of 200 I thought you deserved a bigger share. What with the injury and all. <laughs> well, that's mighty kind of you. And I'm going to give Jor his share of 70 as well. That's nice. Oh, uh, we need to go back to the sheriffs. You need to give me my money. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand him 35 gold pieces. I know he wants 30, but I'm going to hand him 5 extra gold pieces. He just looks at you and he's like, okay. Uh, Thank you for your prompt help and, you know, not it's being... It's not that kind of establishment. Alright, fine. I won't tip you then. I'll just uh, give him 30. He takes that and puts it in his uh, little pouch next to his leg and hands you back your backpack. Awesome. I put the uh, backpack on. Retrieve your items. And uh, Joradam, please add the money to your inventory, as well as Ergo Huto. You each received 70 gold pieces. Oh, I have 40 now, but yeah. Oh, yeah, 40. Hey, guys, uh, we gotta go back to the sheriff's place. I just. Do you have as, a goblin head somewhere? No, but I, I do have those 14 silver pieces from that Vigo had, and I want to make sure that it gets back to the sheriff, because, you know, lawful and whatnot. And also, there's that poorly drawn, you know, pornographic picture of a female goblin. So, maybe he'll give us something for that. Well, you two can <laughs> go <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm going to go find myself an inn. All right. Okay, 
Uh, ergo, you head back to yep. the sheriff's office. Ozzy and uh, Jor, are you following Ozzy? Yes. Okay. Uh, you guys head further up the road, uh, heading towards. There's a large sign on the side. Uh, there's no words on it, but there's a large red arrow on a black placard next to a very large building. You figure that's the end. Uh, so you're heading that direction. Um, ergo, you are back in the sheriff's office. And he goes, "Oh, missed me already? You here to help with the aqueduct problem?" Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I just realized after I had to go fix my arm, and you know, I didn't have any gold on me because counting. Anyway, uh, so I had to give over my backpack as collateral, and when I got it back, I was, you know, just making sure that while I was screaming in agony, nobody, you know, took my stuff while the doctor is performing his thing. And uh, I realized that I have a couple of Vigo's uh, possessions that I want to return to you guys. You that know. is excellent. Uh, yeah, what, what did you get off of him? I have 14 silver pieces and this picture. And I'm just going to, like, put it on the table and slide it across. <laughs> he looks at it. And he's looking at it. And then he's looking for, like, a while. And then he takes it like this. And he goes, that will be excellent in the trial proceedings so we appreciate how thorough you've been I think yeah that's what he had on him when we took him down so uh, we wanted to make sure he didn't have any weapons on him so he couldn't harm us on our you know and, bringing uh, him back to he, you so you took silver off of him or, or yes uh, 14 silver one, pieces two three <laughs> 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 Fourteen pieces. Well, thank you very much. You have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna come back if you want to help us with that aqueduct problem. Yeah, I think we're gonna talk it over at the end. Excellent. Yeah, it's just up the road. All right. Everything seems to be up the road. Let's head up the Everything road. Everything is up the road. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna head up to the road. We're up the okay. road. Um, Ozzy and Jory, you've already arrived. It is called uh you can see it's painted on the glass of the outside it's called the red arrow uh Makes it's a sense. bar attached to an inn the main floor is a bar with stairs on the side that lead up to some rooms and it's mostly just midday people eating and drinking like medium stuff the late crowd and the heavy drinkers haven't come in yet so uh the main officiate person seems like the bartender so let's take the lead with uh jorah dam uh, I'm gonna walk up to the guy and say sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he looks from you to Ozzy and said, "One bedroom or two." Uh, I'm just gonna shrug my shoulders. I'm gonna slap him on the ass and say, "One will be fine." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he just keeps washing his glass. <laughs> He's like, who am I to judge? Uh, let's see. That'll be, uh, that's only five gold pieces per night for one room. Uh, that comes with food. And uh, there's no uh, there's no ba bathing here, but uh, there's a hot springs down the road if, you, uh, if you're looking for that. And he, because he's looking very poignantly at how you're both kind of got blood on you from hauling around leading people and animals and what's the charge on that hot springs uh i think they're only like two gold pieces to just sit in the warm pool of water all right here's your five gold excellent you know of any dice games around uh that's at the late night crowd uh you're all gonna right. have to wait a little bit for that but uh they should be here in a couple hours uh at this and point ergo you walk into the bar hey so i get a <laughs> Can I get a bottle of wine, please? Absolutely. Uh, 50 silver. Thank you, good sir. I pass him over a gold. Woo! This guy does take tips, uh, so he just takes it. Um, <laughs> dude, you want change? No, that's all for you, my good sir. Yes. We're going to be friends, I can tell. Uh, I'll send somebody to knock on your door when the dice game starts. 
That would be fantastic. For now, though, I'm going to head down on over to the hot springs. Excellent. Uh, okay. So what about you guys, uh, Ergo and Jor? Uh, I'm going to buy a room. Okay. You want your own room? Yeah. I'm not sleeping okay. with these people. Hey, it's five gold pieces a night. All right. I'll buy one night, and okay. I will also get some wine. Cool. Uh, it's 50 silver each. I'll give him a gold. For a bottle. Okay, cool. I'll take two and bottles, actually. You? Two bottles, please. Pass him a gold. Okay. Passes him. He passes it back over the bar. Uh, Joradam, what about you? Uh, I'm just going to go lay under the <coughs> table and try to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a table in the corner, and you can just walk up over to it and just kind of lean down underneath it. Uh, like right on the floor or propped up against the middle? No, on, on floor. Okay. I'm, I'm used to sleeping on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you just... Uh, are, are you trying to be silent about it at all, or do you just kind of do it in plain sight of everybody? Just in plain sight. I have no social skills. Gotcha. Um, he, <clears throat> The barkeep looks over at Ergo Huto and goes, uh, you guys had a long day or something? Yeah, you could say that. We went hunting. Oh, good. Uh, was it a fruitful day? You could say that. Good. Um, Ozzy Armas, you're heading up the road. <laughs> uh, there's a little painted sign. It's the picture of a wood bin with a guy and a brush sitting inside of it. Uh, you figure that's the bathhouse. Uh, so you just head inside? Yeah. Cool. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people uh, ushering about all dressed the same and they look at you and go can you see my gesture yes I uh, offer two gold coins okay cool they don't look like they speak English or common uh, <laughs> so they take that and they just start stripping you I force uh, if they try to take my pants off I will not let that happen it's true they're gonna try there's four of them. <clears throat> Men and women. Uh, They're quick. Well, you're going to have to resist or else you're all right. naked. All right, I'm growling. I'm growling. <laughs> Get off my face. They, they don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, well, let me see what happens. Uh, yeah, your diplomacy <laughs> fails. <laughs> You're naked in the foyer, but they're pushing you along. Uh, there's, uh, they're pushing you down a hallway naked, <laughs> and your your clothes and backpack have been left in the room. But they're all kind of like heaping them up into groups and carrying them along beside you, and they kind of just push you into a room that has like a pit in it that's full of water, and they're pushing you, muttering in a language you don't understand. All right, well, I'm trying to keep my my back to my well my front to them. I I don't want them getting behind me. <laughs> Uh, noted. Uh, <laughs> they they stack your effects in the corner, and uh, one of them is grabbing them and throwing them into the hot spring, and like washing them out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is not leaving you alone, as you stand there naked next to the hot springs. We'll cut to Ergo Huto. What I'm you gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna open one of the bottles of wine and go sit at the table that Jor is sleeping under. <laughs> okay. And uh, Jeff and I are going to drink the bottle. Okay. Oh, and uh, barkeep, can I get some toast? With butter. Toast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the room comes with food, so... Right. I, I just have to be specific. Yeah, exactly. And don't be too outlandish with your demands, essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, Okay, so you're doing that. Uh, Joradam, are you trying to sleep? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't need to make you roll for that. <laughs> the room's not loud enough to really encumber that. So, uh, yeah, you're starting to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, ergo Huto, you are... I assume you're resting in the water. Me? Um, me? Oh, sorry, uh, Ozzy Armas. <clears throat> yeah, did I, was I able to at least grab my wine bottle to take with me? Mm -hmm. You had All it right. in your inventory. It's Your backpack's in the corner of the room, so you could have just picked it up and then hopped in the tub. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm enjoying the hot water with the 
wine bottle. Interesting. Have you ever drank? Where an is octopus? the wine bottle? <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make you make a Constitution save. I can do that. Clearly, he's never drank in a hot tub before, eh, Derek? <laughs> oh yeah, I have. Then why would you do that? <laughs> uh, it's you feel fun. Incredibly <laughs> yeah. lightheaded. It's fun yeah, until you get hammered or shit yourself. <laughs> you're gonna get um, amazingly. Uh, you're gonna get your money's worth out of that wine for sure. Uh, so basically, you can sit in the tub for an hour and then hop out. Do you want to just fast travel to that? Yeah. And I assume during that uh, fast travel time that, ergo, you're just uh, getting hammered at the bar by yourself with, with Jeff. I'm uh, not not hammered, but you know we're we're slowly drinking the wine and I'm feeding him the toast and gotcha. eating some myself. Okay. And uh, Joradam, you're just trying to sleep. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll pick back up with Ozzy Armas. Ozzy, you're uh, you're recuperated. You're all clean, and uh, the person that was awkwardly washing your stuff in the room has uh, come back, and it's dried and folded, so your clothes are clean. Excellent. Uh, and you smell nice. So, uh, <coughs> yeah. you They uh, kind of ta-da themselves, and then like back their way back out of the room. So you're standing there naked again. I'm going to start putting my clothes back on. Okay. Um... Ergo, or are you just happy sitting yeah, at the just, table? we're just chilling, yeah. Relaxing. Okay. Uh, Ozzy, I assume you're just going to head back? Yeah, I'm heading back to the inn. Okay. Uh, you come back, looking like a million bucks, all cleaned up. Oh, uh, yeah. You see uh, Ergo Huto <coughs> sitting at the table, uh, drinking a glass of wine uh, above a curled up body on the floor. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit across from Ergo. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, you uh, make purpose to not accidentally stand in your compadre, and uh, the barkeep looks at you and points to a table where you can see that some locals have shown up and they are playing dice. Alright, I'm uh, I'm gonna toss him a gold coin, and thanks. <laughs> He's across the bar from you. Are you gonna like overhand yeah. throw? It? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you roll for that, please? Uh, what do I? Dexterity. <laughs> uh, just give me a twenty roll. All right. <laughs> uh, you throw the gold coin across the room, and gold is heavy, so it hits the backsplash and breaks a bottle. <laughs> But <laughs> the barkeep just looks startled, but then picks up the gold, and it's kind of like, okay, well, you can see him puzzling it out, that the alcohol that you broke wasn't worth more than the gold piece you used to break it. <clears throat> and he just puts it in his pocket and then tries not to make eye contact with you anymore. <laughs> well played. Should have given it to me. I got a five in athletics. I would have nailed that. <laughs> so, right. uh, are you gonna go over to the dice game? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go play some dice. Okay, cool. Uh, ergo, are you just hanging out there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch from afar. Okay, you can observe. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna pull one of these. <sighs> you can do that. Um. Two, Ozzy, <laughs> George Ozzy, gonna put one of these. Yeah, he's still asleep <laughs> under the table. He's gonna be resting before you guys are. <laughs> um, so, I only need four hours. It's fine. Uh, Ozzy, mm. uh, you show up next to a table full of locals, uh, a bunch of humans, and uh, three of them, and they're playing dice. Um, do you know the rules to dice? I can learn quickly. Okay, they're just playing red and blue. It's a six-sided die. Uh, one, three, and five are red. Two, four, and six are blue, and they're making bets on what's going to come up. They're not very... They don't appear to be very smart. So, uh... They're just making 50-50 bets. Alright. So, uh, 
Do you want to participate? Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, you see them and they kind of look at you. And then they're like raising eyebrows at you. I'm going to start putting gold down on, in a stack on the table. Okay, how many gold do you put down? Five. Okay. Uh, and a guy takes a cup and the dice and he puts the dice in the cup. And a bunch of guys put down all of their stuff. And some put down and they put their hand over top of it and they say red. Other guys put down and they say blue. And he's looking at you and you say... Red. Okay. And he hands you the cup. You gotta put your hand over top of it. Okay. <laughs> and then he puts on he puts money down on the table and says blue. <clears throat> he he matches your bet. Roll. Yeah. <clears throat> he scowls at you and pushes the five coins at you. <clears throat> You always want to play some more? He takes out 10 this time because he's looking to get his money back and puts them down. All right, I'm putting matching his bet. Okay. And you pick. I'll pick the opposite because I kind of hate you right now. <laughs> I'm going red again. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> he pushes the coins over again. Uh, yeah, you you've taken his money again. The other guys are laughing, but he seems mad. I'm gonna yell for the barkeep. Barkeep, can I get a round of drinks for my friends here? Okay. Uh, they're drinking beers, so uh, that's twenty-five silver pieces each, and there's four of you at the table. Do you want a beer as well? Nah. I'm good. Okay, he'll charge you <clears throat> 75 silver pieces. Uh, I'll give him three gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Um, from afar, ergo, you see uh, your friend cleaning up at dice. Uh, Joradam, you are sleeping peacefully. Um, Ozzy, <laughs> you're still holding the dice cup. <clears throat> Anyone else want to try? One of the laughing guys says, Sure. Alright, how much you want to throw in? He reaches in his pocket, takes out a fist, and puts his whole handful on the table. And then he looks down and realizes that that was just a gesture and not an amount, so he starts counting them out. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody in this town slow? God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, know the sheriff? <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff is my brother. <laughs> <laughs> People uh, say we look a lot alike. Uh, <laughs> he counts out 25 gold pieces and says, he takes the cup from you and he says, pick. Blue. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Sorry if that blew your eardrums up. No. I had to sneeze. Nothing uh, happened. Yeah, he screams, <clears throat> and but he seems okay with it, and he hands you over the 25 gold pieces. Uh, Dude, you're cleaning up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're cleaning up. <laughs> Everyone in this town's gonna be broke. What have they, what have they done? Ugh. And the third guy is sitting at the table, and he takes his whole bag and dumps out his whole bag in the middle of the table, and then grabs the cup and says, 70. All right, I'm in for 70. It's never heard oh. of the saying, quit while you're ahead, huh? <laughs> Let's go red. Okay. <laughs> you won again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, yeah. Uh, all three of the guys just get up, down their beers, <laughs> drop the glasses on the table, and walk away. <laughs> Thanks for playing, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Yeah, you add all of the spoils of that encounter to your inventory. <laughs> That's uh, 1, 2, 188. Oh. <sighs> Good job. <laughs> so that's what you're total at, or that's how much you just got? Yeah, that's what I'm total at now. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, so if <laughs> those, those people left you. Uh, so you're now standing at a table by yourself, covered in gold. Well, I have business with my partners anyway. <clears throat> okay, so you head back over to the table? Yeah. Uh, okay, roll a d20 for me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's never a good sign. <laughs> okay, that's <coughs> fine. Uh, you just sit down normally at the table. Um, there you go. Your yes. buddy's back. Gambling. What do you guys want to do? Jeff and I thought you'd never give up. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're looking at you disapprovingly. <laughs> so, what do you think about this aqueduct job the sheriff is offering us? Well, I don't know. It's a lot of money. I'm going to start kicking a uh, jar underneath the table while I'm saying this. Um, uh, how hard? Wait, wait, wait. How hard? I mean, hard enough to get his attention, but not hard enough to, like, you know, start a fight or something. Uh, he's asleep. Roll for it. All right. 19. Okay, you tap him just the perfect amount, and uh, <laughs> Jor, you wake up being gently tapped with the tip of a boot. Uh, you awaken underneath a table in a bar. <laughs> this is normal for you, apparently. It's not illegal. Um, country bar. No, right. <laughs> uh, so you guys were having a conversation about the Jor, get up here. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, it's a lot of money, but considering we only got two hundred, well, not only, but considering we got two hundred to get this one guy, part of me is just wondering what all's involved with five hundred. The sheriff, you know. 500. There's got to be something more to it that he wasn't telling us. It's got to be significantly more dangerous, considering the guy that he sent us after tried to kill us. Or just ran away and thought we were trying to kill him. Look, the point is... <coughs> it's It's got to be pretty dangerous, right? For 500. So... I don't know. Maybe we could shake down the sheriff and get some more information. Uh, we're not a fan that's, of that. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. Um, it's only about 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and it's the summer, so it's still light outside. Jeff and I don't like that plan. Sleep. We don't We don't like shakedowns. <laughs> George, stay awake enough for the input in this conversation. Aw, oh, kitty. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think, uh, Jor? So, yeah, Ozzy, what's your take of that? Oh, or Ozzy? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about some gentle prodding then? <laughs> A little bit of probing. I already told him he won't listen. <laughs> A few friendly questions. Fine. We're good with the friendly questions. Jor, where do you stand? Okay. All Thank right, you. that's illuminating. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with what George has said. Let's go okay. talk to him. Uh, so you guys just want to party travel back to the sheriff's office? Sure. You know what? Okay. You guys take it easy. I see Jor wants to sleep. I'll go talk to the sheriff. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna go to my room. Which <clears> okay. And my wine. Uh, er ergo, you head upstairs. The barkeep hands you a key. Uh. It's just the first one on the left, he says. Uh, mm -hmm. Inside is a cot, a chest, and a bucket of water on top of the nightstand. There's a lamp that you can light with some uh, flint and tinder. I don't need to do that. And, I'm just going to sit gonna sit cross-legged in the middle of the room and enter a trance. Okay, you can do that. Um, Four. Ozzy? Um, 
you head down the road at midday. Or not midday. It's getting to be the evening. <coughs> and you head down to the sheriff's office, and he's still there. He appears to be counting something. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks up and he's like, hey, welcome back. Hey there, Sheriff. I was wondering if you could provide some more information on this aqueduct job. Okay. Well, an aqueduct is something that carries no, water no, from what... No, no, I, I, I understand that. Oh. I'm wondering if you know why the aqueduct might have stopped up. Oh, well, okay. Do you know what a rat catcher is? I'd assume it's someone who catches rats. Correct. Uh, since we have an aqueduct in the town, we want to keep everyone disease-free, so we pay the local kids to uh, go down into the aqueduct area and uh, catch the rats for us. And, you know, we pay them for each rat, and it's a good system, right? You know, keep the kids busy. Uh, they can't hunt goblins yet, but, you know, you can keep them busy. Uh, so they went uh, missing. And that's all but, the information you have? Well, we were going to go down there. And then, uh, you showed up. So no one has even stuck their head around the aqueduct? No, the water stopped, and the, so we asked the kids to go look, because, you know, they go down there all the time, and then the kids didn't come back, and then you showed up. All right. Uh, yeah, there's three, uh, four, let's see, one, two. Four kids. <laughs> Four, so one less than how many fingers you have on one hand. Got it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> I'm here to help. Uh, that sounds great. So you'll take the job then. I'll come back with. I'll come back with the, the answer in the morning. Oh yeah, no rush. I mean, you know, who needs water, right? And babies and old ladies. And no big deal. I have a rule about exploring aqueducts after dark. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> well, good sir, I'll leave you to your counting. I'm going to go find my compatriots. <laughs> Thank you. I, I assume you're heading back to the Red Arrow. <laughs> I should have asked, uh, <laughs> Jor, did you go up to the room or did you just curl back up under the table? Under the table. <laughs> I, I figured, I figured as much. Uh, Ozzy, <sighs> you return to the bar and uh, there is your ally curled up under the table. Uh, the barkeep points at him and goes and gestures towards the stairs. So is he okay there? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, I'd like to use that table for patrons. And uh, he's currently occupying it. Here, how about I rent the table out for the night, and I offer him ten, ten gold. Uh, it, sure. Uh, just a second. Uh, he goes over there and takes the chairs away from the table and spins them around backwards to make like a little fence. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's kind of looking at it like, okay. And he walks away and gives you the thumbs up. And hands you a key. Says thank you're you, the sir. room on the right hand side. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do you do? I'm heading up to my room. Okay. Uh, there's a bed, a chest, a nightstand with a lamp on it, and a bucket full of water in it. There's a window too, but it's closed. So, uh, Ergo, you're meditating right now. Uh, Jor, you're asleep. Com comfortably ish and uh Ozzy what are you doing I'm gonna rig the water to uh fall on anyone that opens the door <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah roll to set the trap <clears throat> it's just a d20 yep <laughs> 19 <laughs> it's almost like you've seen someone do it before <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, uh, you prop the bucket and wedge it just so that if anybody tried to enter your room, it would fall on them. Uh, now what? Uh, now I'm going to bed. Okay. We can fast travel to morning. Uh, unless, uh, ergo, you would wake up or you would be done meditating partway through the night uh, because your rest time is a lot shorter. Would you like to spend the rest of your evening doing anything else? I'm just going to hang out with Jeff. Okay, you hang out with Jeff. Um, so we'll just fast travel in the morning? Okay. Uh, you wake up in at sunrise-ish. Uh, you feel very well rested. All of you do. Uh, Joradam, you are fenced in by chairs underneath the table. We'll start with you. This is frightening, so I'm going to hit the chairs with my staff. <laughs> Roll for that. <coughs> Four. <laughs> the chairs fight back! <laughs> you, hit, you hit more than one of them at a time, and none of the chairs move, so now you're kind of getting frightened. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Ozzy. You wake up and it's nice, and uh, it's sunny out, there's sun coming through the window. There would be birds if you had the window open. <sighs> is my water bucket disturbed or is it fine? Undisturbed. Alright, I'm gonna disarm it. Roll for that. Oh jeez. <sighs> wet first thing. <laughs> yeah, in your early morning haze of disarming your trap, it slips out of your hands and s soaks the floor of your room. Uh, yeah, your backpack is wet, but you're fine. Yay. Uh, ergo Hito, you uh, snap out of your meditative trance, and uh, you are just hanging out in your room with Jeff. Yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and wait for my companions to feel the breeze of the morning air, as okay. it were. Uh, you head down the stairs and see your compatriot, Jor, uh, freaking out a little bit and hitting the chairs around the table with his stick uh, muttering. I'm gonna do like one of these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do a take from the office to no one in particular. Uh, yeah. And, and then I'm just gonna like lean against the wall like just... Okay. Uh, Joradam, you're trapped. <laughs> Swing harder. Okay, roll for that. <laughs> Two. <laughs> In your panic, you are unable to move the chairs with your staff because they you hit them and then they rock and then they come back, so it's almost like you're encased by some kind of living organism. <laughs> with structure. Which is not unheard of. Uh, <laughs> what's your reaction to that? Uh, I'm just gonna curl back up into the ball, go back to sleep. <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> Can't handle it. <laughs> okay. You do that. Uh, ergo, you see him defeated. Uh, Ozzy, you're uh, done with your room? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You collect your effects and uh, meet Ergo on the stairs, just leaning against the wall, watching Jorah Dam curl up into a ball, defeated under the table. <laughs> I'll let the poor guy out. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull some of the chairs back. <laughs> okay, uh, er Jor, that startles you back awake. The uh, the encase oh. has released itself. Come on out, big guy. It's all right. <laughs> uh, your ally has saved you and is now being patronizing. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get out from under the table, but be cautious of those chairs. Okay, you warily avoid the chairs. I'm gonna thrust the bottle of wine into his face. Uh, they drink this. The bottle. No, the full yeah, one. Exactly. The full oh, one. You have, oh, yeah, you have I bought two. two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, your your ally Ergo just handed you a bottle of wine. You said drink it, so I'll, yep. I'll drink it. Drink it. Okay. You just start drinking it. I assume with reckless abandon of someone with little social skills. <laughs> 
I've never had alcohol. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Another yeah. first. Yeah, uh, they, in that case, please give me a uh, constitution save. Uh -oh. Um, that's a one. That's a nat one. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Can you please give me the severity of that nat one? 53. Okay. That's good. Uh, yeah, you feel like this is probably the best experience of your life. This is like the best thing that you've ever tasted. Oh, no. And uh, it makes you just drink <laughs> the entire bottle in a single sitting on an empty stomach. All so right. let's see how that goes. Uh... Ozzy and Ergo, you watch this spectacle. Uh, <laughs> Jeff and I are just going to laugh. Okay. Uh, Ozzy? I'm, I'm going to... There's a barkeep's up, or the innkeeper's behind the bar. He's out here. It's a different guy, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Someone's cleaning glasses and wiping the bar off. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna set five gold down on the counter and say... I apologize for whatever is about to happen and for the mess in my room. I have to go. I'm going to leave. <clears throat> I'm going to follow him out. Okay. Uh, is this a down payment for another night? No. Okay. Uh, then thank you. And he just he looks at the till and then he looks at the gold and he just puts it in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, are you guys just heading out? Yep. Yeah, I'm following yep. Ozzy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jorah Dam, just give me a natural d20 roll. Three. Yeah, you fall face first out into the street. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're on a hill but it seems like you're on quite an incline, and uh, it caught you off guard. Uh, you weren't expecting to be like, mountain climbing today, so you just fell flat on your face. Um, Ozzy, there we go. I'm laughing again. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to Ergo and tell him. Well, it seems like this aqueduct stop up just happened right before we got to town, and they're missing four. Count them four. Rat catchers. That's one less than, you know, a full hand, right? That's what I told the, the sheriff. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, rat catchers are usually children, so we should probably go save them. Yep, that was what it was on my mind, too. The children. I'm sure it was. Uh, Jory, you're not quite sure what they're talking about it just sounds like mumbling from above uh, and you're not 100% sure but you think the ground is moving below you do you try to stand up <coughs> yeah I'm gonna try to prop myself up with my quarter staff okay you can try to do that but you're gonna have to roll for that a six yeah no it slides out <coughs> from underneath you. you you try to put it in front of you and it just went whoop, out in front and you landed face first now you're kind of supermaning out front uh, for the record, I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> <laughs> that five foot of rope that I had, do I, st I still have it right? They took it off the elk? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, you have 45 feet and five oh, okay. feet. Okay. You have, you have uh, both, but they're not attached. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna grab the five foot and tie one end around his wrist and the <laughs> other end around my wrist. Yeah, uh, please roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's um, not a one. Yeah. Okay, you tie it really tight. Um, <laughs> you, <laughs> Jor, the circulation is being cut off on your hand, but uh, Ozzy definitely doesn't know that. So you're going to take some damage over time. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking uh, of, did we heal up any with our rest, or are we still at the same hit points? You are healed, and oh, your nice. spells and abilities have been reset. That's good. So, uh, Ozzy, you are successfully attached to uh, your ally. Good. Um, you know what? I don't know where the aqueduct is. 
Well, I think we got to go to the sheriff and get information, right? You said you'd... Yeah. Oh. You told me when you got back that you said you'd talk to him in the morning, so... Yeah. We should probably go do that. Okay, so you want to try and fast travel there? Yeah, we're going <sighs> to try to fast travel. How's that okay, going to uh, work? Okay, Jor Jorah Dam, can you roll to stand up? Eight. <laughs> uh, are either of you guys helping him? Yes. I'm not. I'm just laughing. Uh, please roll to help him. <laughs> Rolling to help. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven plus you, eight is nineteen. You, <laughs> this, yeah, this it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make a sorry sight of trying to pick each other up. Now you're just kind of. It looks like you're hugging, but you can't get him all the way up because you're tied to him. I'll try to help so, him up as well. Okay. Uh, please roll for that. Can I add anything like athletics? No, please just roll these. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I won one. I in attempting to, right? In attempting to help, you kicked the edge of his quarter staff with your foot, and he just goes down. <laughs> oh, God. And, and in doing so, uh, he pulls on the rope that's now still attached to Ozzy Armas. So, uh, Ozzy, can you give me a save for that? A the strength best. check. Yeah, okay. Okay, you don't get pulled over by that. But, uh, Joradam, you're still prone. Tried, I right. can't. I'm just gonna wait for them. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut the rope, because I can see this is only gonna lead to bad places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you, you, you. roll for that, please. 19. Okay, you successfully <laughs> cut the rope. You now have two segments of rope. One is two feet, one is three feet. And the other one's 45 feet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Ozzy, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna lean up against the inn and wait till uh, he sobers up. I'm gonna go inside the inn and ask for a bucket of water. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he's cleaning up, so he asks you if you want that one. It's uh, gray, and it's got the bar Oof. rag in it. Uh, <laughs> no, just a bucket of cold water. Okay. Uh, he reaches Pref behind Preferably the with ice. You... <laughs> he doesn't have ice. Uh, he hands you just a bucket hmm. of water from behind the counter. Uh, How Jordan, about for a gold coin? I... Does he have ice? There's, I, uh, you, I'm not a magician, and there's not a <laughs> lot of magic allowed in town. All right, fine. I don't I'm gonna take the zoom. bucket of cold water then. Okay, uh, Jorah Dam, are you trying to stand up still? I mean, we're on a <laughs> hill, right? Yeah. Can I start rolling towards the sheriff? You can try to roll. You don't know where you're going though. <laughs> All right. Nine. <laughs> yeah, you start to tumble end over end. Uh, <laughs> Ozzy, you see him kind of just give up, tuck his quarter staff <laughs> up to his body, and start to just roll down the road, but he's not. <laughs> rolling in a straight line he's kind of doing that thing where you're, you're heavier on one end so he just starts to roll to the side of the road <laughs> uh, yep i'm just watching ergo hito you come outside and see your compatriot just rolling on the I, ground. i'm just gonna dump the whole bucket of water directly on his face yeah i'll roll for that please <laughs> that's an eight <laughs> You splash him, uh, you get mostly his legs. Uh, the ground around him is now soaked, so he's rolling around and the mud is sticking to his legs. I'm, I'm gonna go back for more water. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, he just looks at you and looks at the Sorry, goes, I missed. Can you fill it up again? <sighs> yeah, he's gonna be filling it up the water. Uh, Ozzy, are you doing anything? Nope, I'm just watching this shit show. Okay, uh, Eric, uh, Jor, are you gonna try and stand up, or are you gonna try and make this rolling thing work for you? <laughs> well, I'm all wet now, so I'm gonna try to stand up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you stand up, but, uh, someone is belligerent and in front of you, and they push you back over and fall over. Um, Ozzy Armas, you see him get up, hit the post in front of the saloon, and fall back over. <laughs> uh, 
Ergo, he just hands you another. Sorry, uh, jo yeah, Ergo, he hands you another bucket of water. All right, I'm gonna go back out to Jor. Yeah, Jor is just laying flat on his back. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> yeah, uh, roll for it. Seventeen. Yeah, you catch him with it this time and lay a strip of water clean across his body. Uh, Jor, you are slightly more awake now. Uh, you want to try and stand up again? Yeah. Okay. Eighteen. Yeah, that yeah. did it. Hey, that did it! <laughs> yes! You are unsteady, but standing up. Uh, and you're also soaked. Uh, it's mid-morning. So it's like 6 a.m., so uh, you're a little bit chilly. <laughs> And, uh, ergo, you got a bucket. Uh, I'm gonna drop the bucket and then hand him some of my rations. Okay. Uh, and you wanna just fish him out of your backpack? Yeah, and just uh, tell him to eat him. Okay, uh, Ozzy, now what are you doing as uh, party leader? Strolling on down to the sheriff's office. Okay, uh, you guys following him? Yep. Okay. Uh, ergo, you hand your, uh, rations bar. Uh, it's just basically wild oats mashed together with honey. Uh, and you head to the sheriff's office. Uh, it's open. There's the sheriff there, standing behind the counter. Counting? No, just staring at the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Morning, sheriff. Good morning. How can I help you? Uh, well, we've decided to take on your aqueduct job. Uh, could you point us out where we should uh, start this trick? Sure. It's just up the road. <laughs> just like everything. Got it. Yeah. Uh, look for the uh, painted symbol that looks like a tunnel. And uh, yeah, inside there, there should be an access ladder that leads down. And uh, that's where we always send the kids. That's creepy. All right. Thank you for the information. We'll be on our way. You are welcome. You have a nice day. Uh, you guys just heading up the road? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, one more time. You feel much more sober now, but Joradam, could you roll to go up the hill? 19. Okay, you got your feet underneath <laughs> you now. You Hooray. feel slightly more steady, but you are still quite drunk. Uh Okay, you guys head up the road, and you see on the side of the road a painted sign that looks like a tunnel. Uh, the building is unlocked. So you just head inside? Yep. Sure. Okay. Um, there are, is very clearly an access hatch, uh, a wooden trap door on the ground, and a little closet there. To the hatch. And open yeah. the hatch? Yeah, check the closet first, see if there's any kids stuffed in there. <laughs> there are no kids in the closet. Alright. Uh, I'm opening the that's hatch. That's all you were looking for? Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you open the hatch. Uh, here's uh, a handover ladder leading all the way down into the darkness. Uh, but you have night vision so that you can see. And you hear running water. Climbing on down. Okay, uh, Ozzy and Jor, you uh, making that work? Following? Yep, I'm, I'm heading down. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jor, you're drunk, but I'm gonna let you just climb down the ladder because you've got your feet underneath you now. All right. uh, okay, so you guys climb down into a tunnel system. Uh, you are on the edge of a aqueduct tunnel, which means there is a pathway on either side of the water that's running in front of you. You're at the end of the tunnel, so you're on the closest side. There is a farther side on the other side of the water, and the tunnel goes off to your left into the darkness. Uh, Jor, you are only seeing light from above you. <clears throat> the rest of the tunnel is dark. Ozzy lead. And I'm gonna okay. shift out of the way. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna draw my rapier and proceed down okay. the tunnel. Okay, um, you can do that. You're leading the way. Uh, Ergo, are you just following him? Yeah, I'm gonna draw my bow and follow him. Okay, and uh, Jor, uh, how are you proceeding from here? You can uh, only see that they're disappearing off into the darkness. 
I'm gonna go ahead and light a lantern this time. Okay, uh, you fish a lantern out of your bag, and it lights up the tunnel a bit more. You can see that uh, the tunnel continues off to the left-hand side and then splits. Um, at the split, you can see that on the other side, or all three of you meet at the split, and from the other side, you can see that on the opposite side, there is a door, and the tunnel goes to the left, or it goes uh, straight. In order to go straight, you would need to jump over the uh, running water in the middle. I'm going left. I will okay. follow. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you too, Jor? Yeah. Okay. You follow the path left, and it leads down and down and down another hallway. A really long one this time, and the water is flowing with you in the same direction. Uh, and you come to the end, or what appears to be the end, of a round room. And the water is pooling in the center of the round room and going off into five separate tunnels in all different directions. Uh, it, you can see that at the mouth of each one of these tunnels has been gummed up with a whole bunch of driftwood <coughs> that seems to be coming out of the stone. And floating in the center of a pool is a face down body. Does it look child sized? Yeah, it is about child sized. They're uh, bloated the same way that a corpse gets when it's been left in the water for too long. <clears throat> and there's just the one? Just the one. I uh, should I'm probably try fish to, it out. Yeah, drag the kid out of the water. Okay, uh, it's about 10 feet away from you in the center of the pool. How are you going to do that? You know what? I'll come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you guys. <laughs> I don't feel like swimming today, so <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna wait. Poke it with my staff. Uh, it's ten feet away. Do you oh, actually try no. to poke it with your staff? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was close. <laughs> no, uh, I'll just uh, I'll just leave it alone. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're at the end of this portion of the tunnel. The water can't flow past the impedance of the. Uh, Tangled bramble. So, uh, Ozzy, what are we doing? You said there were five ways out of this room. Uh, five tunnels of water leading out, uh, but they're all blocked uh, okay. by gates. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna turn around. Well, shouldn't okay. we clear the bramble? <clears throat> uh, I was gonna look for the other kids first. See what uh, put him here. Well, I mean, our job is to also get the water flowing again, right? So, you know, our contract is to get information and fix the water. So, I feel like while we're here, we should kind of take care of this problem as well. <clears throat> you know, uh, by the book. Do you have any ideas on how to accomplish this? I am all ears. Well, I mean, we got swords. It's uh, just bramble. I'm gonna bend down and try to light it on fire with my lantern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> sure. Uh, can you please go <laughs> for it? Fourteen. That actually works. Uh, you're sliding the glass up on the side the same way that you would access the wick, and you're trying to hold the whole lantern sideways over top of one of the sticks it's poking out. So you're actually kind of making some progress there while the other two are talking. Uh, Ergo? See, like, he's got the right idea. Yeah. That's not gonna work. I mean, <laughs> you've got a sword, right? Why don't you just give her with a sword? What just... am I supposed to do? Jump in the water and poke the brambles with my sword? I wouldn't say poke, more like slash. Uh. I mean, my bow and arrow's not gonna do much, you know. And I'm not too handy with the sword, if we couldn't tell from yesterday. <laughs> Clearly. But the arm's working now, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Hey, Jor, you wanna not try lighting that on fire and instead kinda knock the stuff out of the way with your 
pole. Uh, Jor, are you continuing to try to let it on fire, or are you going to stop? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Sacred Flame on the brambles. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you put the lantern back on the ground and pick up your staff and cast Sacred Flame. You can just cast it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Nope. Never mind. Do you, do you totally uh, explode the bramble? <laughs> uh, the water starts flowing that direction and uh, has been freed up and the body that was in the middle it flows along the current and gets hung up on the grate before it stops. We should probably pull the body out now. Uh, yeah, it's accessible. You can walk up to it now. But it's being kind of pushed against the grate by the current. <coughs> uh, the majority of the current is now going through one gate, so it's kind of pressed against the grate and uh, also being smushed into it. So basically, somebody strong's got to do it. Ozzy? All right. <coughs> Gonna try okay. to pull, pull it off. Okay, yeah. Uh, please roll for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that totally <laughs> works. Uh, it's slippy at first, but you get a good grip and pull the dead kid uh, onto the side of the pavement. It's a young man. Well, I bet we're going to have to fight. I vote we leave that here and come back for it. We um, agree. Actually, give me a perception roll as well. All of us or him? Uh, whoever wants to look at the body. Twelve. Oh, okay. I guess I could actually uh, click on it. Five. <laughs> uh, Jory, do you want to look at the body or you just don't care? Mm-mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I love um, your commitment. Okay. As, far as, <laughs> as far as you can discern, uh, Ozzy, it's uh, it's been bitten to death by something. Large teeth, like dog, big, bear. big puncture wounds, big big puncture wounds. Given that I'm not knowledge knowledgeable with animals, if it was an animal, would I be able to tell what it was? Uh, if you took some time and tried it, yeah. All right, well, I'll wait, depending on these guys. Okay. Give me another roll for it. All right. That, no. Nope. 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 <laughs> uh, the body's been in the water for too long, so you can't tell. All I'm right. Sure. I, I don't know what happened here, guys. Uh, so, yeah, you've cleared out one of the waterways and taken the body out of the water. No, oh, I already looked. <laughs> <clears throat> We're not going to wait around here all day. All right. So the only other Some way people, we have you know? to go is go back and then go straight instead of left. Yes. All right. Um, actually, before we explore that other area, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, carry the body and put it in the uh, closet that was before the hatch. Oh, that means so you gotta you carry it up the, the stairs, up mm -hmm. the ladder. Ladder. Uh, okay, so you walk back to the entranceway. Uh, it's uneventful, and you're standing at the base of the ladder. How are you going to go about it? I'm going to throw the kid all over my shoulder and start climbing. Okay, please roll for that. It's just a d20 or strength or what? Yeah, let's go with strength. 19. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. You just <laughs> throw him over your shoulder, fireman style, and... <clears throat> Carry him up the ladder and put him in the closet. <laughs> All uh, right. Okay, you just left the dead kid in the closet. Um, <laughs> do you leave the door open? <laughs> yeah. I mean, who's going to come down here? The sheriff's too afraid he sent us. Logic. Um, <laughs> are you two just hanging out at the base of the ladder? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ozzy, I assume you head back down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can meet them back up at the junction. Uh, right. To go straight, you need to cross over uh, the stream, either crossing it over to get on the other side of one side or the other side. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're here, you need to either cross over to this side or cross over to this side. Okay. So you guys just went that way. Alright. 
Uh, so, do you go towards the door or just to the other side? Let's check the door. Clear right, the room yeah. by room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a five foot gap to cross over top of the rushing water, so each one of you has to roll for that. I'm going first, and I leap. Okay, roll for it. 17. Athletics check, perfect. <coughs> yeah, please get an athletics check from all of you. Oh. <laughs> It's under skills, sir. It's not any better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, uh, you slip on the wet pavement and just fall straight into the water. Uh, but it's a slow current, so uh, you're just very lazily floating down the stream. And they get to hear me sigh as I fucking go down the stream. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, yeah, you both did. So, uh, you guys are both floating in the water. Uh, so, uh, ergo, you watch your compatriots just kind of lazily floating down the river towards the new direction. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down. And okay, wait. you sit down next to the door. Um, Ozzy and Jor, you are just floating down the river. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to make it to the... To uh, ergo. Okay. Uh, try and pull yourself out. Uh, roll athletics for it. <sighs> wow. Consistent rolls. Uh, no, you slip on the edge and can't pull yourself out. <sighs> Jorah Dam? Uh, I'm also going to try to get out. Okay. Thirteen. Okay, you almost get up on the edge. You're uh, holding onto the edge and you're stopped. Uh, you're climbing onto the door side. Uh, Ozzy, you're still just coasting down the river. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to toss my rope to Ergo. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, please roll for that. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, ergo, while you weren't paying attention, a rope lands in front of you. I'm going to tie it to the door handle. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Roll to tie that knot. Alright. <clears throat> Roll for knot. Eleven. <laughs> okay, you think you did a great job. Alright, awesome. It's tied. You're Ozzie? good. Well, uh, I feel I feel some tension, so I'm going to try to pull myself up. <laughs> okay, uh, please roll a strength check for pulling yourself out. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, it, you, you're at least stopped now, but uh, give me a secondary one. Give me a reflex save. Uh, dexterity? Uh, no, this one will be strength too. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 21. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, the door that it's attached to was actually unlocked and open. So the door opens up as you pull on it and gives you about four foot of slack rope as you tried to pull yourself up. So you just about fell down back into the river, but you overpowered it and just used that to keep frantically climbing up and onto the edge. Uh, Jora Dam, you need to pull yourself up one more time. All right. I'll try to do that. Athletics. Yes, please. Fifteen. <laughs> okay, hey. yeah, you, you pull yourself up onto the edge uh, and wonder if you'll ever be dry today. <laughs> so, uh, okay, you guys are all on the edge next to the door. <laughs> no, I know, they're new. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm going to reclaim my rope. You do that. Uh, Jor? I'm going to... Go join them. Okay, you're I'll all stand standing up next now. to the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ergo, <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm going to look inside the uh, room. Okay. Uh, it seems to be another storage closet. It's like a supply room, except this one has uh, assorted pieces of driftwood that have been picked up and stored in this room. Uh, there's also a broom, three hunting traps, and a wooden bonking stick of some kind. I assume uh, Ozzy and uh, Jor, you've joined them? Joined him? Yeah. Yes. Okay, hmm. so you see all the same things. Nothing of value in here. And I'm going to turn around. 
lean against the door frame and wait for them. Okay. Uh, did either of you guys want any of those items? I kind of missed it. I was doing an inventory real quick. Sorry. Oh, uh, there you see a, a broom, some assorted driftwood, uh, three hunting traps, and a bonking stick. Uh, the hunting traps are like bear traps or smaller it's, animal traps? Uh, no, they're a, a hunting trap of medium size. It's a classic tooth trap uh, that uh, is about a foot and a half across. <laughs> All right. And uh, uh, it works on a lever and can be staked to the ground and I'm attached gonna... to a chain. I think I heard a kid screaming traps. in this aqueduct, guys. Yeah. <laughs> must One of them must still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you wanted those? Yeah, two of them. Okay, you take two of the three traps. Jord, do you want anything? I want the bonking stick. Cool. Okay, it's got a little tether on the end of it, so it holds onto your wrist so that you can't really drop it. Uh, All right. It looks like a fish billy club made of wood. I'm just shaking my head at Ozzy and his traps. Yeah, you would be very disapproving of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so... Are you done in this room? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you want to continue all along the straight stretch? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you are on the door side, so you continue along the aqueduct further down and deeper in, and you round a corner to a straight stretch. Uh, the two guys with dark vision can see to the end of the room. There appears to be a statue looming at the end of the clearing. Uh, and But to your left-hand side, there's a door on the other side of the aqueduct that you can all see. To the door! And I'm going to hop over. I'm going to set one of the traps. 20. Okay. Uh, you just open it up and set it on the ground? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there's a natural bridge that leads across... Too bad, I leaped it. Be very graceful to leap across to the other side. <laughs> One might say uh, you skip. Um, okay, and you two? Uh, you set the trap successfully. You don't need to roll for that. Uh, okay. Do you stake the chain down? Because it's attached to a piece of chain with a stake on the end? Nope. Okay. Uh, the trap is set. Jor, are you doing anything? Uh, I'll follow across the bridge. Okay, you walk across the bridge. And hey guys, welcome to this side of the river. Join Ergo. Uh, Ozzy, are you doing the same? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you are standing before the door. That's all Uh, hey Ozzy. You're a tough warrior type. You should open this door. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna try to open the door. Okay, it's unlocked. Uh, it swings inwards, and the room inside is still pitch black. It smells like decay and uh, like rot, and in the middle of the room, you can see someone is hung upside down by their ankle from the ceiling, and they've been bled out. And the uh, there's something scraped into their chest, I believe. Oh, turn back is carved into their chest as they hang upside down over top of a set of stairs that are spiraling downwards. Would you say that it's a child body? It is absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, we should probably listen. Yeah. I can read. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? We're going to end there for the night. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everybody. Um, and I'm excited to say you guys all dinged. So uh, you can level up your characters for next week. And you nice. will start the adventure back up at level 2. <coughs> and uh, when you ding, you also recuperate every uh, spell that you have used during the day. So uh, for your Sacred Flame there, Joradam, you have recuperated your spell count. Uh, you're also all at full health. Hooray! Uh, but you're also still drunk. So there's that. Uh, and yeah, that's the end of the episode. Wow. All right. Yeah. Uh, you want to take us out, Jason? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, first off, we I, I'm going to have to dig through this whole thing to find an episode title, unless you guys got a suggestion. Yeah, I dig through it. 
find something good. I'm just gonna go with child screaming. Four is less <laughs> one less than how many fingers you have. There you go. There you go. Okay, there you go. That's a perfect title. Um, I'm still counting. You guys, <laughs> you guys got uh, any shoutouts you want to do before we get out of here? Shout out to Cyvan. Uh, shout out to my cat. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for the good episode. Woo! Yeah, thank shout you, out. Mr. DM. No problemo. Zach. Uh, shout out to the screaming children. There you go. Literally shouting out. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Trevor. If you didn't catch it, that's four shots tonight. So, uh, have fun with yeah, that. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, with that, we're, we're done for the week. So, uh, catch us again next week where we will continue on this ominous adventure that uh, Derek has set out before us and probably end up getting drunk and dying and all kinds of fun stuff. Who knows? Fun. Next week. Later, everybody. <laughs>